Hey guys, it's Chris. It's good to be back making some videos. Uh, many apologies for my lack of videos over the last few uh, weeks and months, I guess. Um, but uh, it's because things have been a little crazy. Uh, I'll go into a lot more detail just as I get back into the rhythm of making videos. But um, basically... Uh, the job that I started months ago has gone away. And so that kind of uh, has set me on a completely different path, and that's okay. But, um, but yeah, so the reason why uh, I'm going to be, or the things that I'm going to be making on the next few videos are going to be some 55 and 57 Chevys. Um, League of Speed over on Redline Derby is going to be putting together a race, I think, next year, I think is when it's going to be, um, of all 55 and 57 Chevys. And I haven't really put a good, solid effort together in a little while, so I thought I'd uh, play around with making some cool stuff and doing some testing, and, um, and this is my first thing that I'm playing with. Now these, um, Hot Wheels has made a lot of 50, 57 Chevys. Uh, this is a slightly older body. Uh, it's a body from, I think, the 90s that has the flames on it, I believe. And um, the chassis is actually a metal chassis. Uh, and it would have been on this guy, which I just recently found, uh, which is a plastic bodied uh, 57 or 57 that that had a metal chassis and it took a little bit of adapting and it doesn't quite line up perfectly but this way I've got an all metal 57 Chevy so uh, the amount of weight that will need to be added is pretty minimal and it should be a fun project these cars um, I'll go into a lot more detail about these cars but um, they they were always some of my favorites. Uh, I had a 57 Chevy Redline when I was a kid, and I still have the body, and I'll show that to you over the course of the next few videos. Um, and I just loved that car when I was a kid. So the, the, these are a sentiment, sentimental one to me. And uh, another project that will probably be coming up, I just picked up a lot of um, Hot Wheels cars on eBay. And there were a couple of these uh, 34 Fords and a couple of the black 57 Chevys, which I really like. Uh, they're not really worth much, but I really like them. I think they're, uh, they're kind of a cool design. It was before they went to the putting the engine sticking up through the hood. Uh, and if you look at these, again, these were a plastic, uh, plastic chassis car. Uh, these, and I've told you in the past, I really like these chassis on these 34s. Now, this one had the... The, what are they called? High high rakers or whatever, where you could where you could jack the rear end up, uh, which is kind of cool, <laughs> but it doesn't really affect the chassis. Um, I'll just pull that plastic piece out and use it as a as a basic chassis, and I'm pretty sure I can use um, these metal chassis under these '57 Chevys. Uh, here again, I'm basically just playing around, trying to come up with a combination that'll be cool and a little different. And, um, yeah, I mean, it's even got the side pipes, so it uh, should all work out pretty cool. And plus, if I use just the chassis from this car, um, I'm left with some cool bodies to play around with, because these, these 34 three windows are a really cool body. So, um, just on a side note also... Um, I am going to be setting up my track. Uh, I'm going to be moving out of this house very shortly, uh, which might limit some of my video making. But, um, yeah, it's going to be a pretty cool setup. I have a really good plan for my track. I'll probably document that as I go. And, uh, yeah, it should be pretty fun. Um... It's going to be, I'll be able to run both drag races and road course races. The, the, the drag strip section, uh, you can kind of think of it as the long straight straightaway on a road course because it's going to go right into a road course section. 
So, um, so yeah, it should be good fun, and I'm hoping to put on lots of races, and, um, yeah, hopefully 2020 will be a pretty fun year as far as events and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick update on what's going on, and I'll probably start on one of these guys either tomorrow or sometime this week, uh, just to give me something to keep my hands busy while I'm while I'm moving and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. But, um, but yeah, so that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, I will see you in lane two.